Hey there, I'm Desmond Ortega, as always with Yak Yak's Word Up. And you know, we are smack dab in the middle of wildfire season here in the Southwest. So now is a better time than any for you to learn a great new word to describe a really big, devastating fire. Next time you're watching a wildfire on TV, you can express great dismay to your friends and talk about the devastating conflagration. Now, probably the most well-known conflagration here in the U.S. was that which destroyed much of San Francisco right after the earthquake of 1906. In fact, it was that conflagration that actually destroyed much of the city, not the actual earthquake. Most historians believe as much as 90% of the devastation across San Francisco was the result of that fire. The blaze was mostly the work of broken natural gas lines from the earthquake, but also by people who intentionally set fire to their homes because if their home was only damaged by the earthquake and not fire, they would not receive any insurance money. For our second word today, I want you to think of a friend who is totally wasteful and reckless with their money. Here's another word to add to your artillery to describe that misguided friend, prodigal. I'm sure most of you have at least heard of the famous Bible story of the same name, the prodigal son, about a guy who wastes all the money given to him by his father on a lavishly extravagant lifestyle. But prodigal can just as easily be equated to that guy who drives a crappy car and lives in the ghetto, but spends a hundred bucks a week on alcohol, or the struggling single mom with a taste for expensive clothing. Used in a sentence, my prodigal buddy Michael can't wait for his next paycheck to go blow at the racetrack or a night on the town in Hollywood. Some people never learn, I guess. That's it for today, folks. This is Yak Yak's Word Up.